Cracker. Could be a real one. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my God. Oh, cracking fish. Beautiful fish. The destination is on your left. Route guidance is complete. Hey, mate, you want to go fishing? Hey, mate. Hey, Kelma. Hey, you too, brother. What's happening? Oh, you know, I'm going to go and try and get a snap for us, Oh, God, I hope so. I hope it's not as hard as last time. Well, we were catching the fish, but we just couldn't find the big one Brad needed. <laughs> I've told you once, Reggie? and now I'm telling you again. You Love can't me. add two fish together to make five kilos, mate. No, I'm trying, I'm trying. Especially everything. when they're different species, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hook wasn't moving in the water for that one. Don't know what happened there. See you, buddy. I need your granddad. Mate, what are you doing? I keep telling him, and he just keeps thinking he's going to win it on those two fish. And it's not happening. You idiot! I've got to do a poo. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Sorry, boys. When you got to go, you got to go, man. Go, it was better to do it now than out to do it yeah. aqua turd. I've got some baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll pass on that. Well, welcome to another hook up with Bergie. I am fishing with Brad Kearns. We became mates, oh, I don't know, five, six years ago when he came on the show. How was that? Fantastic. It was mate. good fun. We went to New really Zealand good. and he caught an absolute cracking snapper. and this is an absolute beast. That was a, an amazing trip. I'll never ever forget that trip. And we're now fishing with Brad in his boat off the Sunshine Coast. We're gonna try and chase some snapper ourselves. Yep. Uh, I don't know if we'll get a 10 kilo one like we did over there, but you never know. You never know, we'll give it a go. Yeah, now. if your rod's not in the water, you're not gonna catch them. It's a little rough. It's about a one and a half meter swell, a bit bumpy. But uh, Brad knows this area pretty well. You've been up here how long now? About four years. Four years, moved up from Sydney. He comes out here, does a lot of solo trips and he's worked this area out. And hopefully you learn a few things today as well. We'll go through some tips and tricks on catching snapper. Have a go at the sounder. Hello, Christmas. <laughs> All right, let's get fishing. Oh, far out, that looks good. Oh, good sea legs. Oh, look at that. Right in the crack. Oh, Oh, there was one. Like he's not five grand on the line. Got to admit, no <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was one for sure. Hey, if I catch the biggest one, do you give me five grand worth of fishing gear? I don't time? know. Yeah, I reckon that's what we should do. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a fair call. I'll give you something. Yeah, yeah I'm sure you will. <laughs> so, we've worked out our drift. One of the most important things to do when you get out on the water is work out what the wind and tide current is doing, which way the boat's going to drift. We've worked it out that uh, we're drifting this way, it means nothing to you, but we are, we're drifting this way. And the actual mark, the spot, or well, the reef is in front of us. So you're always casting the way that you're traveling. And I just saw a whale, <laughs> way, way, way out the back there. Can you see the spray that's left over? 
Anyway, yeah, it's a whale out there, not after them. So you're casting with your drift and you've got to look for that touch on the line. Sometimes bigger snap will just crunch these soft plastics and you're just on. Other times you'll see that tick in your line and you've got to strike up and set the hook. But casting forward for us right now and no working it back to the boat. This is simply just casting it, letting it sink, looking for that bite on the drop. Hopefully we find a fish or five. You got one yet? Soon. Soon. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. <laughs> <Here you go. laughs> Someone's a bit tired and you got a fish on? Really? No. No, missed him. He's watching the bird. There we go, this little guy. He's obviously very tired. The wind's pretty strong. He's come off the island more than likely. Hello, buddy. How you going, little mate? You gonna sit on my hand? There you go, come on. Off you go, there you go. You stay with Bergie, I'll look after you. There you go, mate, you just sit up there. <laughs> oh, that's a first. Yeah. How cute is that? I can't wait to go back and see what sort of, it's obviously some sort of little honey eater or something. You can see the long beak on him. Oh, he just needs a rest. Just a bit tired. Normally you get bitten by birds, eh? Yeah, they normally bite bite me. Snapper? Snapper. Are you got to, oh, nice. You need a net? Um, oh, there he goes. Oh, could be a real one, mate. I hope so. Oh, yes. Head thumps. Thump, 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 thump. Nice. Oh, balance this boat when I come over. Yeah, look at that dunk. I'd say she's a keeper. I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> is there any better feeling? I love it. Real going, I love man. it. There's nothing like snapper, is there? Yeah, they're great fish. Oh, so much fun. Oh, cracker. Here he comes. Oh, look at that colour. He's a beautiful fish. Couple more wines, mate. Yeah. Nope. You got him, Bill. Oh, cracking fish. Sort of five, six kilos. Look at those humps on him, mate. Eh? Well done, mate. Nice. Thanks, mate. Good start. Thank Look you. at the sound now. That's yeah, where they're here at. We go. Here we go. We found them. Yeah, we found them. Awesome. Phew. Well, that's a lovely fish. That's you pretty much average that size here. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is a little. Average size. Yeah, you've got much bigger here too, I imagine. Much bigger, so. Nice big hump on his nose and one on top of his head. Great fish, great table fish. Yep. And we are gonna take a feed home today, so that one's going on ice. Sure is. Good start, well mate. Done. So you see on the sound of there now, I don't think that's snapper, I think that's a whole heap of bait. You can see it's moving through. How'd you find this spot? I used to drive over this spot on the way to a different spot. Okay. And a number of times I was marking fish as I was cruising over it. So one particular day I didn't drive over it. I thought I'd approach it slowly yeah. and actually fish it with plastics. Yeah. Uh, and second cast, I got a five or six kilo snapper. And you went, Mark. I went, Mark. <laughs> and ever since then I've um, been catching them. I've been catching them from here, yeah. So really, when we come into a spot like this, if we're looking for bait, just like any other kind of fishing, first thing you do, you find the bait. Once you've found that bait, you'll fend, tend to find the snapper because obviously they, they feed on it. And you'll see a big, we'll show you on the sounder when we see him again, big clump of bait. And then you'll also see these individual arches on there. Yep. Come on, big dog. Oh yeah. That is so cool. <laughs> All right, enough of the gherkins. 
<laughs> Let's go and find the snapper. <laughs> Puts a smile on your dial though, I tell you what. It's not all about the fishing, is it, mate? No, not at all. Look Taking it. it all in. Yeah. It's beautiful. So good. Oh, there's a fin. There well, there there going. Buy. Boom! That's amazing. And again. It's like a gunshot, isn't it? Isn't it? He's just letting us know. Goodness me, do not get too Keep close. Keep your distance. Yeah. That's decent. Yeah, it's got a bit of weight. I might be able to get the net, eh? I reckon it is. Yeah, thump, thump. You might have just picked up your slack line, you already had yeah, it in, swimming towards you. Okay, so what's happened is, it's, whatever this is, it's eaten it, and it's come towards the boat. Kernsey's just wound up his slack line, and then it felt like, oh, I'm halfway up. Oh, it's a little trevally, a little golden trevally. Is it a golden? No, it's not, it's a uh, gold spot trevally. There you go. You caught one of them here before? No, I haven't got one. No. There you go. That's probably what's on the sound right now. Look at that. Look at that. Make Shocker sure blocker. They go hard, the Trevellis, don't they? Yeah. It's too nil. I'm not happy. Don't laugh. See you, buddy. Let's talk moon phases. Now, a lot of people get very confused by moon phases and a lot of people don't actually care. They just do whatever they want. They still catch fish and you will. But if you do pay attention to your moon phases, you might actually catch more fish. Now we're fishing the wrong phase. <laughs> yeah, it's actually just before the new moon, which is normally, I think, pretty average. The best yeah. time I think to fish for snapper up here, and correct me if I'm wrong, yep. probably the second, third, fourth day after the new moon. Yeah, I totally agree. That works for you? I totally agree, yep. yeah. There you go. That's my favorite time. So if you can line it up where you get good weather and you're in that moon phase, the th second, third, fourth, even the fifth day after the new moon, you've got good strong tides, yep. plenty of water movement, Yep. and uh, I've always done well on snapper at that, tide, at that moon phase. So keep that one in mind next time you hit the water. He absolutely smashed it. I often refer to looking for that tick in your line and then striking, but you have to set the hook, but I didn't have to strike that guy. He absolutely caned it. I'm not convinced it's a snapper, eh? I think it is. You reckon it is, mate? Oh, the way that he hit it, for sure. Just mark, I'd be marking that bait there. <laughs> the way that he hit it. Yeah, wait. So much fun. Oh, 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 oh geez. <laughs> Cameraman's nearly gone, I'm nearly gone. That's one mate, that's one. Some nice runs there boys. Well, I think it's super important when you're fighting fish like this, is you don't let your line go slack at any point. Really important to pump and wind them towards the boat. But when you drop that rod tip, Start whining straight away. You do not want slack line. Oh my lord. It's a good one. Yep. Will it be bigger than Kernsey's? <laughs> hey, that's all that matters, isn't it? <laughs> Certainly not the one you like the one you caught in New Zealand, mate. Nah. That one didn't. was ridiculous. Dog fishing. What a fish! <laughs> Look at the size of it! Uh, Put your hand in the gill. That is, fish, he's that, coming home for dinner. That is a snapper. Have you ever caught one like that? No. <laughs> We've been struggling to get him over two or three kilos. Oh. And that's a 10 kilo fish. Come on now. There we go, good colour. Not that big, but good fight. Yeah, 
mate. I'll bring him around one more time. Yes. That's better. That's a nice fish. Look at the hump on his head. You. Happy days. That is sick. That's a cracker. That's better, mate. Thanks, man. Well done, mate. Well done. Thanks for taking well us done. out. Mate, you're welcome anytime. Woo! We thought it was done and dusted. We we're literally thinking one more drift when we're going to go home. And it's now seven minutes past 11 in the morning. So you just never know when they're going to decide to eat. All right. Oh, that's a cracker. That's a lovely fish. That guy be maybe five, six kilos. You reckon, Brad? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yep. I don't normally hold them in the gills like that, but these guys are coming home with us, so we're gonna spike them, bleed them, get them on ice. Look at that hump. Beautiful. It's like fish. a camel. That is a cracker. And you can see that McCarthy hanging out of the corner of his mouth. They got such a good colour range. Beautiful fish. No mucking around, is there? No, I want it. It's the best, Bang. it's so exciting. Even after you catch everything else, other species. Yeah. What is it about the snapper fishing you love the most? I love the challenge about it and I love the reward of hunting a big snapper. Yeah, big snapper are hard to catch, or well, they're hard for me to catch. <laughs> hard for everyone to catch, mate. But when you do find them and the clunk clunk, the head shakes, the everything about it. I just love snapper fishing still, I always will. It is exciting, especially when you kind of work out an area, you put in the time, yep. you work them out, it's exceptionally rewarding. But that time on the water is what it's about though, hey? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the rewarding part of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> you right there, mate? I nearly fell in. <laughs> again. Well, you got me casting left-handed or again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, oh, maybe next time I come up, mate, we'll go chase some G-bangers. Yes, let's do that, yep. Well, thanks for walking up with Bergie, my friend. Mate, thank you very much. Good Cheers. to see you again. Yeah, you too.